Hey everyone, it's good to be with you as we are in 21 days for 2021. And what we're doing is we're leaning into God every day. We're looking at who God is and we're connecting with him. And so let's just jump right in and let me ask you, what are some of the bigger decisions you're trying to make right now? Like what are some decisions you got to make today or this month and some things you're trying to figure out? Maybe they're work related. Maybe in your job there's there's some things you, you got to make some decisions on, or maybe it's about your job, whether to continue on, or maybe you're looking for a new job, or, or maybe it's with the employees or other people you work with, and you're trying to navigate through those. Or, or if you're a parent, man, there's always decisions to make, right? Like, like as kids get older, they, they go through phases, and you're always making decisions there. Or maybe it's with your finances, like you're trying to figure out, make decisions about uh, additional income or where to spend your dollars, and and my guess is we all have a few decisions we're trying to make. There's a few things we're trying to figure out. And we want to make the right decisions, right? Like we want to make the right decisions at the right time. And so what we need is wisdom. We need wisdom for our decisions. And wisdom is, is about saying and doing the right thing at the right time, but it's also about having good judgment and, and insight and, and experience and and discernment when making our decisions. So, so what we need is wisdom. And that is what God has. God has wisdom. He is wise. And that's our focus for today. And we're going to be reading out of the book of Romans chapter 11, verse 33. Let me read this. It says, Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. Now that verse tells us something about God right? It says he's wise and he has this great wisdom and there's a, there's a depth to his wisdom. There's a fullness to it that his wisdom is complete. And it says that it is rich, which means it's so valuable. He is a God of wisdom. And so every day as you and I are making decisions, decisions about what to do or what to communicate and things in the workplace, with our finances, or, or with our kids. As we're going about doing all of that, we have to remember that we have some limits. We have some limits to our wisdom and, and to what we understand and what we know, right? Like, like, we just have to admit that. We just have to acknowledge that there's some things we don't understand or we don't know, or, or many times we just don't know what to do. But because... God is wise, he understands and knows the things that we don't understand or know. Because of his great wisdom, he understands and knows the things that we don't understand or know. On this piece of paper, I have a few things that I've written down that are decisions that I need to make. These are some things that I'm trying to figure out within the next few weeks here at the beginning of the year. Some of it is related to finances like figuring out where to spend some money and how we're going to budget some things for the year. There's some decisions to make about our house. Like, are we going to do some upgrades or repair some things? Are we going to do it? Or how are we going to go about doing that? There's some things on here that are work-related for me at the journey, like figuring out and deciding what's, what's coming up, what are we going to be doing the next few weeks or months. And there's a few people on here, some names of, of people that I'm trying to navigate through those relationships. So so I look at all this and see these decisions I'm trying to make and figure out, and many of them, I don't know what to do, or I don't know what to do yet. So I can come at that in a few ways. Like I can, I can ask other people and say, hey, what's your opinion on this? Or I can just look at other people's lives and, and just kind of do what they do. Or I could just simply decide, you know, what's best for me? Like what benefits me the most? It might be a selfish way to go, but there's all kinds of ways I can come at making those decisions. But what I want is I want God's wisdom in these decisions. I want to go to God and say, God, give me your wisdom in these decisions I have to make. I want to invite God into my decisions. Now, there's another way to go about doing that, which is the opposite of wisdom. It's actually called foolishness. Because if we know someone who's wise and we just kind of ignore it or we just kind of don't want any part of that, it's actually a foolish way to live. But what I want to do and 
what I want to challenge you guys to do is to invite God in his wisdom into the decisions you have to make. Let's ask God to guide us into the things that we're trying to figure out. And then let's apply his wisdom to our decisions. And that's really our prayer focus for today. It's a short prayer. It's a simple prayer. But it's a prayer that could change everything in our decisions that we're trying to make. The prayer is this. Say, God, give me your wisdom in the decisions I have to make. So I'm going to invite you to pray with me today and, and pray that simple, short prayer. And before we do, I want you to think, what's maybe one or two things that you're trying to figure out right now? What are a couple decisions that you've got to make? Just maybe think about those as we, as we pray together. And let's invite God and his wisdom into those decisions. So let's pray together. God, give me your wisdom in these decisions I have to make. Give me your wisdom in these decisions I have to make. Amen. Again, it's simple. It's short. Could it make a big difference? And I want to challenge you with a couple other things in addition to praying that prayer. Um, one is, you know, as you go about this day, as we, you finish watching this short little video, you're going to go be with your family, you're going to go to work, and as you go, pray that prayer as you're making those decisions. You're, you're probably going to be making a decision or trying to figure something out in the next few hours. So take a moment and stop and say, God, give me your wisdom in this decision. And I also encourage you to make a list like I did or put it in your journal or make a list and put it on your fridge of, of the decisions you're inviting God's wisdom for. And then record and see what happens. Maybe you write out after you've made that decision how God is guiding you or, or the result of the, the wisdom that he's been giving you in those decisions. It'll be interesting to see and I think you'll like to see how God is guiding your thoughts and giving you wisdom. And then I also encourage you to read Proverbs chapter 3. It is a chapter in the Bible that can give you more insight about God's wisdom and really encourage you to continue to invite God's wisdom into all the decisions you have to make. So check out those additional steps and those resources on our blog for today. And, and let's continue to invite God and his wisdom into our decisions.